Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another brand new tutorial of MySQL in ODB cluster and today uh, after doing the previous lectures on installation and introduction and uh, configuring the MySQL router and then providing the uh, HA solution for MySQL router as well. Uh, if you guys haven't watched this tutorial, please go back and watch this tutorial as well. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and let's grow uh, the community and help the community. And uh, so enough talking today. Now let's uh, go further with the uh, today's lecture which is about how you guys can monitor your MySQL in UDB cluster so obviously after doing the installation configuration and all that uh, setting up your MySQL in UDB cluster uh, you need to monitor your uh, MySQL in UDB cluster as if it's uh, working fine or any error or anything you are getting so so for that uh, we are going today is how we can uh, do the monitoring uh, monitoring of mysql in odb cluster so uh, for that uh, mysql 8 uh, ha it comes up with the mysql admin api uh, which we call is uh, mysql shell and mysql uh, from the oracle uh, is comes it doesn't come along with your mysql uh, servers but you have to install it separately and i have shown how you can install it uh, in my previous videos uh, you can guys can go check and uh, if if you want to check how if it is installed or not all you have to do is uh, this uh, my sql uh, sh dash dash version and you will see that it's installed and my current version is 8.0.22 and and i'm just opening the two sessions so that i can interact in differently so let's uh, do that and let me log into my one of my mysql uh, cluster instance and let's start how we can do the uh, monitoring uh, mysql uh, monitoring for mysql is very really easy it's not that big deal uh, i'm connecting to the uh, inodb cluster user and for that for this uh, demo and i already saved the password so if you are logging into the first time so it will obviously ask for the password here and so now mysql comes with uh, uh, this uh, object for the database cluster and so for to use that uh, uh, cluster object what you need to do is that you have to create a variable and for me let's create a variable like uh, let's say cls sorry uh, equal to then we have a dba object and in that we have another object it says that uh, you are different so if you want to know that what is my cluster name curl cluster uh, i think they are different Ooh, what's the name Mm hmm yeah it must be one okay uh, I think it's not here so to get the cluster what you need to do is that uh, you get the cluster here and uh, then uh, after that we have different uh, CLS uh, I think in this one we have now uh, CLS yeah get name so once you get the cluster so like so now you can see here that my cluster is Maurice underscore CLS so that's but the cluster name uh, you can see and then uh, there are different things you can do with this uh, now uh, this object now uh, for example to know the status is of your uh, mysql uh, in ODB cluster all you need to do is that CLS dot uh, status and then uh, it will print the bunch of information in front of you and you guys can check your uh, mysql new db cluster status so that's it uh it's showing you what's the uh, information about your cluster and the first one we have is this one uh, cluster name uh, it's saying that this is the cluster um, with cls uh, i have deployed this cluster in the previous videos if you haven't and uh, if you don't know you guys can go back and check how you can deploy this cluster it's a very easy steps uh, with this mysql uh, admin api which is mysql shell this is, has become very easy to implement uh, in ODB cluster now next we have this default replica set uh, this is the, uh, this is another uh, this type is like uh, node js and all are object based and you can uh, 
call them if you want to get a separate like a specific information we can also get that i will show you that as well uh, for this now let's let's say what is uh, there are different uh, attributes we have let's first one is primary uh, so the my currently primary server is mysql3 and so that's mean that it will be the this will be the one uh, which is uh, only read write mode uh, if you see here uh, this is mysql3 instance and this one is the only read write mode so we only have one uh, read write uh, because the rest are read only read only because uh, the topology mode is only we have is single primary mode and then we have uh, status is okay ssl means that it requires an ssl collection between your uh in odb cluster instances uh, this depends on your configuration if you have disabled this ssl then it uh, will be uh, uh, shown as disabled and cluster status that is saying that uh, it's online and can tolerate up to one failure that means that uh, if one goes down uh, we can tolerate till one one can be tolerated uh, then we have this topology and uh, this is a topology this means that we have three uh, instances in our mysql server and uh, sorry mysql db cluster and after that uh, we have uh, there will be the this status uh, status can be different uh, like uh, it like it can be say that it's okay then it can be online uh, the online means that uh, obviously it's participating in the cluster offline like it's lost the connection uh, to the other instances uh, then we have recovering mode like if it goes down and after a few times or 20 or 30 minutes and the server is busy then what it will do that uh, it will be start synchronizing synchronization with the other uh, instances and try to retrieve the transaction from the other instances to uh, itself then that is called a recovery mode uh, thus that is called recovery and then it can be unreachable uh, it can give an error that an instance has uh, like uh, like uh, between hit by an error or something like that and then we have missing as well that uh, the state of an instance uh, which is a part of the configuration cluster but now it's missing so this means missing means that it was there uh, the state can be seen here as well that uh, so the status can be seen here so that means that it was missing and then now it's gone so so that's the status about and then we have role ha obviously high available and then we have replication lag so if uh, if any instance is uh, having any replication lag you can uh, know here uh, that this one this is the replication lag like number of seconds it will be shown here as well okay so then we have host name and all that here as well so different things we have like the address we have here and um, so uh, next we have is that uh, like if I see, see, saw, saw here uh, I just printed this one and uh, we can uh, this is the default information which will be shown to you and if you want to know like the more extended way uh, if you feel that uh, this is not uh, the this is not enough for you so if you want to know that uh, I want to get more information uh, so then you can uh, extract the information in an extended way uh, it i think is good yeah it goes cool with uh, three values the zero one two and three and the zero is the default and then one and two and it provides a different information i will show you this extended way as well so and for that uh, let me op let me log into a different session and okay one more thing uh, what we have done here in the previous session and in the previous uh, example we did that we didn't go with the dash dash cluster so for that like uh, it just connected to the shell and then we have to call the object into one of our mice one of our variable and that then we were able to uh, like uh, use that cluster object and to print our uh, cluster status and get name and all that so but and this one what i'm going that i'm providing an option it's saying that dash dash cluster and it will identify the cluster and it will directly uh, load your cluster object uh, into a variable it's called cluster so yeah sorry what is the number object yeah so now uh, it says called our cluster and if you see here uh, I just uh, removed the space here uh, that was the issue and now we have an uh, cluster object which is already here so if you see here cluster dot status so we didn't we were not required to like uh, what we did here that uh, yeah 
we uh, like we here see why we variable cls and then we got the dba dot get cluster and all that and then we were able to cls dot get name so here it comes with the variable uh already defined called cluster and then you can do that so you let's examine the multiple steps for loading the cluster object into a variable so uh just like i told you that you guys can do the extended way as well uh from here you see here the zero is the default one uh if you print here with zero sorry not here here uh-huh sorry can you use a yeah because uh, this is very can sensitive you need to check out with the c and obviously so this is the default one if you see here both the inputs are the same output are the same now if you go with the one what it's uh, gonna do that it will include the information about the group replication protocol version group name cluster member uids uh, universal uids and cluster member roles and states and, and the status which are reported by group replication um, the list of some uh, more uh, uh, variables so when I go with uh, extended one then you can see here that the information is a little bit more extra so it's come with a member ID there's the UID and the role and the member state and or some few things it has now added and it's giving you that uh, the metadata information as well and and you can go with the two as well uh, after adding the two uh, it includes the information about the transaction process by the connection so if you see here now we are committed the number of uh, this is showing that the transaction ids the gt ids which has been performed conflict detected and uh, in applier queue count and all that, some more information and propose count and rollback if this has rolled back anything so for diff every uh, for every instance uh, it's providing uh, more and more information then we have three as well and for three it includes the detailed statistics uh, about the replication performed by each cluster uh, just like you say that last uh, now the workers which has last applied and applied uh, this much and and timestamp uh, and all that information immediate like different things it's the total statistics about the replication performed by each instance so uh, that's uh, uh, was about uh, in like mysql uh, status so mysql db cluster status and then we have uh, another one like uh, cluster if i go come here cluster dot uh, we have describe so what this describe does that it provide you the cluster topology so that's the topology uh, i we have currently we have like three instances uh, topology mode is single primary and we, the role is ha this is the label and this is the address uh, and one of them is like uh, read and write mode and one of them is primary so this is uh, the topology uh, which you can tell yourself and this is the cluster uh, this is how you define uh, do the describe and then we have rescan uh, let's say so what this does the disk scan does is that it will scan your whole cluster and let's say you think you, you can check that if any uh, instance uh, any member is missing or not or if it will also do the rescan in case uh, if number if another uh, member is added so if found anything or it's uh, if anything is missing it will show you but in my case uh, the new topology is null it's just the same one and newly discovered instances is zero uh, unavailable instances is zero so it's nothing is there so it can also you can use this uh, cluster dot rescan as well and we have another uh, different type of uh, function here uh, like remove instance rescan and all that uh, set options i will uh, this is a good thing and one more thing just set instance option uh, we will i will talk about these all these things uh, in my next uh, tutorial uh, working with uh, nodb cluster and one more thing i want to show you that uh, just like here uh, both are just the same uh, cluster dot status uh, and if you want to call a any specific attribute inside your uh, this uh, object uh, this output uh, just like here uh, print it again 
okay so if you see here i want to call uh, the role okay so i want to say that what is my my sql one uh, this one uh, role is it okay so what i'm doing here that going to status and after status we have this replica default set and in this bracket uh, we have this uh, what i'm saying here that go to this topology okay and then uh, inside the topology uh, this is my uh, instance which i want to check and then if i want to print the role it will tell me that it's an ha so the output here is ha okay and in case i want to check uh, my uh, status so it will should show me that it's online so you can call these as well so you can call the individual object from here as well and then if i want to go that uh, structure dot uh, uh here and then i want to call the topology mode so uh, that will also show you so depends on which object which attribute you want to call then extend the dot and dot and keep going on so that's how you can do it and in case uh, you want to uh, print the, uh, this information this cluster status information on uh, like let's say you want to call this information inside uh, and shell script uh, or in on your shell command prompt then you say that cluster status and then you see uh, it didn't ask for the password because it's already saved inside mysql shell so if you see here i what i did is that dash cluster uh, get your cluster object called and then inside that object uh, call your function is called cluster status so you can see here that i didn't uh, log into uh, any server i'm still in the command prompt and the output has been printed out for me so that's how you can monitor your mysql nudb cluster and if you have any question uh, in regarding this uh, please comment below and let me know uh, and i will help you out uh, in the comment or uh, you can connect with me directly as well so thank you guys for watching this uh, tutorial and if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe and comment below and share. Thank you.